So you've gone through a part design in Mastercam, you've got everything done the way you like it, everything is ready for machining, and as you should always do, you go and click the save button, and then this message pops up. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix this error message, and also how we can avoid getting this message in the first place. Before we go too far in, let's just examine this error message in a little bit more detail and figure out what it's trying to tell us and figure out what happens if we do this part here that says continue anyways. So some solids are in need of regeneration. You may not be able to retrieve this file again. Do you want to continue? So obviously we've got a choice here for, for no, which means I can't save this file, which is not great. We want to be able to save our work so we can come back to it at a later time. Uh, but what happens if we do in fact click yes? Continue anyways? Yes. So I've saved this file. I've only saved it as the default name here. It's, it's called t.mcam. Uh, so we can continue to work on this file right now. I can make tool paths. I can do everything I, I would normally do. But the problem comes when I try to reopen this file. So let's go up to here to open. And from the pull down, there's my, my t.mcam. And I just saved it. That is the file I just saved. And if I reopen this part, now you see the problem. So here's a prompt here that says there's a bunch of errors or warnings. There's some more information about it. Uh, Non-thin wall extrude, error reapplying operation, et cetera, et cetera. If I click OK, uh, I've got nothing here. Uh, my solid is gone. I've got some wireframe geometry still, but my solid is in fact gone. Look at my solid tab, and I've got a big red X through my solid, as well as all the other functions inside of it. So what has in fact happened is our corrupted solid is not able to regenerate to be reopened. So now that we've seen what happens when we click yes and carry on like nothing's happened, uh, let's go back and now look at how we can fix this and figure out what has in fact happened. So we've gone back in time here into the geometry creation of this solid. So I've got a wireframe geometry on board here, and I'm basically just extruding the outer boundary as the full rectangle. Uh, I'll then grab the circles in the middle of this block and extrude, cut those down into the part by one inch. Now I've left off the two side cutouts because they are going down at a different depth than the outer profile, so I did not include those in the outer profile. And before we go much further, I'm going to move all this solid geometry over onto its own level so we can uh, hide that stuff and get into the wireframe creation. Uh, we'll need to do some more wireframe creation for those side cutouts. So here I'm just recreating the geometry needed to do these side cutout portions. Just a couple circles here anchored on the two inner circles. And then I'll trim away some of the excess on the edges. We'll add the fillet in between those two arcs. And notice I've got the trim entities turned off so I don't lose any of the arcs before I apply fillets on both sides. And then I can trim away that excess geometry in between. So now we've got the basics of that side step uh, geometry created. And we can hop into the solid creation and see how this goes uh, as is. Let's try and do a solid extrude here on those two side steps. Now you'll see when I go to chain the geometry, I need a full chain, uh, but I can't get the geometry to go back along this line because that line goes all the way around the part. So if I accept that geometry, notice we get bad results. So what I need to do is make a branch point along this bottom edge for the chain to follow. So most uh, users will just go, okay, I'll just break that line in half and carry on and everything's gonna be just fine. So let's try that, break two pieces and we'll break this line at the intersection points to allow us to make that geometry into a chain. So there needs to be a path for the uh, uh, extrude function to follow in order to complete that chain. So again, let's hop into the extrude. Let's chain our newly broken geometry. So there, now we get back and click OK. And now we're getting what we want. So there's that extrude into the side of the parts. Everything is fine, right? Well, everything is fine until we go up and click the save button. So when I click the save button, there's that problem again. Some solids are in need of regeneration. Are you sure you wanna click save? Cause you might not be able to get your solid back. So I'm clicking no this time and let's hop over and look at our solids tab. The solid is in fact dirty. So I'll explain it out 
And when I expand it, it's this extrude that is the problem. Now, since we still have this solid history here, we can go into this extrude and have a look at it and see if anything sticks out as to what the problem may be. So I'll double click the extrude and I'm getting a prompt over here already. Notice uh, error, no valid closed chain selected for non thin wall extrude. Uh, so a little bit more information here than what we need, but basically this first portion here, no valid closed chains are selected. So if we go and try and have a look at this chain, I've got it selected, nothing shows up on screen. Uh, there it's now shown up. I guess I just need a little bit of a refresh on my graphic screen. But you can see what's chained now is, is not what was chained before. So something's happened here. And obviously what has happened is when we went in and edited this geometry, when we broke it, uh, we broke that geometry that was chained previously and Mashcam is not able to figure out that path anymore. So to fix this, we can just rechain this geometry. So I'm going to right click in here and rechain all. I can also do the uh, rechain all button over here and basically just rechain that geometry. Uh, so there it's reached the branch point. It's not sure which way it wants to go along our new profile or along the outer boundary. So just help it along there, finds its way around. And before we exit this, uh, there's two options here. We can do the blue check or the green check. Now the blue check is okay and regenerate the solid and the green one is just okay. We'll have a look at the difference of those as well here. So green check, uh, notice we've still got a question mark here because we still need to regen the change that we made. Okay, conversely, if we are in here and let's do a rechain all and we rechained that boundary again. Uh, so the, the other choice is to click the blue button here, which is okay and regenerate. And when I click that one, notice I don't have to come back up here and click on the regen solid this time. So it accepts the operation you edited and it regenerates the solid. So just a tip there you might want to use if you're always going in and out of these functions and having to come back over and click on regen. Okay, so that's one, one fix. So now I can go ahead and click save and everything is fine. Mashcam is happy, my solid is good, everything's great. So let me go ahead and extrude this other side over here by breaking this geometry again. So we've got side two extruded now, we've got that steps extruded over there. And this time again, we'll click on save uh, it is not allowing us to do that. We can again go look at our solid and it's ex extrude is dirty because we broke that chain. So the alternative method here to fix this one, if you don't want to go ahead and go through all this process of fixing the, the broken geometry, is we can just take the history of this solid out and not worry about it. So over on the model prep tab, we can come over here, remove history. This solid here, yeah, remove the history, done. Notice the solid is now just a dumb solid. It's only got just the body there and I can go ahead and click save. So this file is now good, but we've lost the history of the functions used to create this solid body. So in wrapping this up, you, you need to basically to avoid that error is, you know, know what you're doing along the process of creating your solid. Try and think a little bit ahead. If you know you've got a side step here to make, probably best to make all that wireframe geometry ahead of time before you start getting into your extrudes so that you can break wireframe geometry wherever you need. And then you don't have to worry about breaking wireframe geometry that created a previous solid function that then breaks your solid model. So hopefully a little pre-planning or at least one of those two fixing methods will help you get through this error message that seems to be a issue for some in Mastercam.